everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be explaining a newly discovered level in the back rooms. And that level is negative three. Now, this level has been undiscovered for a long time until just a couple weeks ago. So you're going to want to stick around to hear all about it. Thank you for watching, and let's get into it, shall we? Sub to Tugly for multiple live streams a week, please. Thank you. Backroom's level negative three, or of light and darkness, is a very, very dangerous place. And dangerous is an understatement. It's classified as a class mirage difficulty for having psychological torture reality warping geometry and deceptive influences and i'll explain what all that means in a second but pretty much it means that nothing is as it seems the level is located deep into the back room somewhere and it physically might be the smallest level ever found cut up into a bunch of parts in fact it's made up of a bunch of small cubicle rooms pretty much just small squares each of these cubic rooms has four walls, except the walls are not just material, they're mirrors. So all four walls in each room you're in will be mirrors. And the mirrors are facing inwards towards each other, which is creating an infinite reflection on all sides. Now it's not the mirrors themselves that make the level creepy, it's actually what you see in the mirror. When you're in the first cube, you'll see your own reflection, pretty normal. And you'll see that for the first few rooms at least. Now the good news is, you aren't stuck in one room forever but that's also bad news because it just gets worse now to exit the rooms you'll need to look for a part of the mirror that doesn't look completely solid it kind of looks like it's waving water and then you can just walk directly through it and if you do walk through the mirror you'll be sent to an exact copy of that same room except each time you do this go from one room through the mirror to the next room you'll notice that the mirror will become more cracked and more imperfect and you'll also notice something creepy looking back at you in the reflection and it's not your own reflection at this point because as you get deeper into this labyrinth of cubic rooms you'll start to see a more mangled abomination of yourself like a decayed zombie or skeleton looking back at you instead of your normal reflection each time the image will get more and more distorted and gross and ugh kind of like you're looking into a funhouse mirror from a carnival except it's way creepier and creepier it also doesn't really make any sense that you can see your reflection because there's no light in the cube rooms instead the light comes from the reflection itself and since there's just infinite reflections you can hardly tell where anything is it's hard to find any depth perception in fact your brain will be so overwhelmed that you'll get terrible migraines and headaches and on top of those migraines you'll get confused and terrified and scared which will eventually make you have panic attacks and you know you'll go nuts. So yeah, that's not fun. You'll eventually get so far deep into these small cubic rooms and these mirrors to the point where the reflections of you aren't even reflections. They act like their own entity and kind of move on their own. They almost kind of shadow what you do, except they don't move exactly when you move and they look gross and disgusting and they seem to just move around behind the mirror as they will. Of course, at first, you'll think that this is because you're going crazy or losing your mind and you won't think anything of it. But as you keep going deeper and deeper, you'll start to accept that they're not your reflection and that they're trying to hurt you. And at that point, these reflections will start to talk to you and verbally you. They'll sling insults at you, they'll give you false information, they'll scream at the top of their lungs. And keep in mind, this whole time you'll be trapped in different rooms with each wall being a mirror, so it's not like you can go anywhere. And sometimes these entities in the mirror will even convince the wanderer to walk to places in the floor that aren't solid and can be fallen through. So they'll literally walk you to a hole that you can fall through and hurt yourself. And if you do that, guess what? You'll land in another mirror room with more reflections. If you don't find the exit to the level, then you could be stuck in this infinite loop of small mirrored room with monsters looking back at you from the mirrors. So you're probably going to want to listen to the exit section. Now this is a quote from a wanderer that came here that they jotted down in a journal. The voice beckoned me to free it, repeatedly and desperately telling me, please, you're making a mistake. Don't just sit there. Let me out of this prison. Don't end up like me. When I opened my eyes, I saw my reflection persistently slamming her blood fist into the wall to my left. The glass was cracking more with each successive punch, and I stumbled back in fear, unprepared to confront 
whatever could step through that wall once it broke. However, I must have backed up too much such that I went through the wall. Into the same room, in fact. Though my rogue reflection was gone. My nightmares did not end there, unfortunately. All around me, I saw some mirror walls gradually fracturing. Even when my reflections on those walls displayed my same panicked expressions and conformed to match every move I made. What an adrenaline rush. I traversed this maze of mirrors for what seemed to be several minutes, running towards mirrors that lack visible cracks and just closing my eyes before I made impact. Was I escaping my own self or was it something else? So yeah, as you can see, this person is crazy. They're running away from their own reflection, and this will happen the deeper you get to this level. To enter, you have to walk through a mirror that's not made out of glass on level 365, and to exit, it's pretty hard. You have to find something to break the mirror that you're staring at, and hope that behind the mirror is a tiled bathroom or tiled room behind it. And if you see that tiled room, it'll be some kind of bathroom in a random backrooms level. And if you plan on walking through it, you better hurry, because the mirrors here and fix themselves so you have to be careful when breaking them because you don't want to hurt yourself and you don't want to be trapped just make sure you jump through it after you break it sometimes the mirrors can lead to nothing just a blank void and if you go through that huh, no one knows where you go so that's fun That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know what levels you want to see in the comments. And while you're down there, go check out my second and third channel. Uh, Toogly, my second channel where I game. Guys, I live stream there multiple times a week and I upload every day. So if you want more of me, you want some goofy, silly moments, you know where to find it. On Spoogly, I upload once a week on Fridays at 5 p.m. A creepy SCP video, cryptid video, ARG video. Everything cryptic and creepy and everything is on there. So go check that out if you want more of me. And here on Brugly, I just cannot believe how fast we're growing. Thank you all so much. We're almost at 500,000, which is, again, I cannot fathom that. Speaking of that, by the way, I hope to see you all at the 500,000 live stream special here on Brugly, which I'll be starting right before I hit 500K. So if you want to tune in and watch me hit 500K live, I'll be wearing the Backrooms outfit. We'll be celebrating. It'll be a great time. We'll be looking back at the year, all the moments that got us here, all the crazy things. We'll be playing games like a pyrophobia. It's going to be fun. Hope to see you there. Now, make sure to let me know in the comments which levels that you would like to see me go over, which compilations you'd like to see, and that sort of thing, because I'm always looking to the commenters and my fans for suggestions on what to do. And there's a pretty good chance that if you suggest something, I'll end up doing it. And also, hope you're pretty hyped for the upcoming Brugmas, where I'll be uploading nearly 20 times in December, almost twice as much as normal. So yeah, get ready for that. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you in the next video on any of my channels. Peace.